And if you're willing to take advantage of those opportunities, you're going to see some amazing things. You're going to see God work at, in your life at a level of depth you've never seen before. You're going to see amazing things happen all around you. And so, friends, I want to just give you the, the request that this week you put this into practice. That final blanks here. Go ahead and fill these things out, and then I'll just let you know what I think it means. Live deeply in Christ. Imitate Him. Seek His work and seize the moments He brings. This week you've got an opportunity to live deeply with Christ. You've got an opportunity to imitate Him. Whether you're a person in authority or not, you've got an opportunity to imitate Him. And I want to challenge you to do so. I want to challenge you to seek for Him to open doors. And then I want to challenge you to walk through them. Here it goes. This next Sunday, we're having our grand opening. I know many of you are, some of you are visiting with us. This is your first time. And so I'm kind of doing a little bit of internal business here because uh, some of you have been around for a little while. You've been through the journey that we've made. Used to be South Side Church on the South Side, moved northwards. Now we're here meeting in the Long Center. Changed the name to Lafayette Community Church. We're going to have our grand opening next week. God's doing some big things in our midst. But listen, I am convinced that the message that we have to give to people is what Lafayette needs, especially now. We've got people who are broken and hurting over home foreclosures, people who are broken and hurting over the problems that, that we've got going on in our financial situation, worried about the future of the country, all kinds of stuff. And the people here in Lafayette need to hear this message. And we need to pray that God opens the door for us to talk to them about it. And we also need to be willing to walk through that door of opportunity. I'm giving you a door of opportunity this week. And you want to know what those doors are? I've actually got three doors of opportunity for you that you can just walk right on through if you want to, okay? Door number one, which door are you going to pick? Door number one uh, is our radio advertisements. This week... For the first time ever, we're putting some radio ads on WAZY 96.5, and it is going to be um, running pretty much throughout the day, almost every hour, near the time that they do the weather. So I've got the actual times on our website. If you want to check them out or something like that, you can visit the website and click on news, and it'll show you the actual times they're going to be playing on Monday, tomorrow. I don't know the rest of the week yet, but anyway. Here's the door you can walk through. A person you know, say this word to them. Have you heard the radio ads for our church? Or maybe even something a little more sly. Have you heard that church with the ads on the radio? <laughs> What's up with that? And then they'll be like, no? Huh. I heard this. Or, you know, what? You know, I don't want you to lie to them, right? But, you know, it would be kind of interesting to see what kind of reactions you can get. Uh, the second door you could walk through is that on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how, you know, shipping and FedEx and all that stuff works, on Wednesday or Thursday, most likely, 35,000 homes in Lafayette are going to be getting postcards in their mailboxes. And on the front of the postcard, it says, how will you handle the changes? And it's got pictures, three pictures on the front. And one picture says a new relationship, one picture says a new home, and one picture says new concerns. And so on Thursday, you could say, did, did you get your postcard yet? You know, who cares where they live? Maybe they live in Monticello. You're not going to get a postcard up in Monticello. That's only right around here, man. But, but they might live in Indianapolis. You could just say, did you get your postcard yet? Just, you know, maybe you have one with you. You know, if yours comes, if you need one by Tuesday, I might have some extras. So, you know, you can say, it's this, this one here. So that's your second door of opportunity. Your third door of opportunity is the little information cards we have on our information table. They're tiny little business card sized things that simply say Lafayette Community Church, our phone number and our website, stuff like that, on, and a map on the back side that lets people know how to get to the long center. So, I'm, showing, I'm telling you about those things because there is a message that people need to hear. It's a message of hope and love and encouragement. There's a message they need to hear. And we have an opportunity to share with them. If all of us 
are ready to imitate Christ, ask for the doors to be open, and walk through them. Does that make sense? I know we've covered a lot of ground, taken a lot of time to do it, but I just want to ask you to close your mind, close your eyes and, and quiet your minds for just a second and allow God to speak to you for just a moment and say, what is the opportunity? Here's the question that I want you to ask God and see what answer he brings back to your mind. But what is the opportunity this week that I need to make the most of? What is the Christ-like attitude that I need to adopt this week in my relationships? What is the application of this message to me. Heavenly Father, we seek for you to open some doors. We ask that you would just move in our hearts in such a way that our eyes would be open to see the doors that, you're open, that you are opening and to walk into those opportunities and to make the most of them. Lord, we believe that as we live in imitation of you, whether from a position of authority showing love or whether from a position under authority showing honor to those over us. Lord, we just pray that you would, that you would work through us to open wide doors of opportunity so that we could share the amazing truth of you with the people that we run into. Lord, thank you so much. Let me ask you just, those of you here, just to take a moment of silence, ask God the question, what's the opportunity for me? And see what he brings to your life. As it passes, please stand up and join with us as we sing the last song. <laughs>